Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel La Modelist. I'm excited to have you here today as we explore two methods for creating colors on button-up shirts. Whether you're a seasoned pattern maker or just starting out, this tutorial is packed with valuable insights. So make sure to stick around until the end to gain a comprehensive understanding of the pattern making process. So let's dive in. The basic color may be worn open or closed and has a 1 inch stand at the center back and the width varies from 2.5 to 3 inches. So these are the required measurements for the color. Measure front and back necklines from your patterns and record. For a clear demo, I will use my pattern blocks and trace the front and back necklines on a piece of paper. Measure first from center back neck until shoulder mark or notch and measure from shoulder mark or notch until the center front neck. And don't forget to record the measurements. Next, get a piece of paper and fold it in half. And square a horizontal line at the bottom part of your paper. And label this line A. From line A, mark up 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. And label this mark B. From line A, continue on marking up 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. And square in a line, and this is the line B. From folded line or center back, mark in the half of your neckline. In my case, it's 6 4 8 inches or 16.5 centimeters. And square in a line. And label this line C. From line A, mark up 1 to 8 inches or 3 centimeters for the stand. Label this mark D. From center back, mark in the half of your back neckline. Square a line and label this line E. This is the shoulder notch. From lines C and A, mark up 4 eighths of an inch or 1.2 centimeters. From this mark, draw in a semi curved line until E. From the mark D, Draw in a semi curve line till the mark at C, and this will be the roll line for the color. From C at line B, mark out 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. And label this mark F. From F, mark up 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeter. From F, connect a diagonal line at the row line. And from the mark at F, draw a semi curve line until E. Label center back as on fold and draw in the green line label. 
trace the row line and line E or the shoulder notch. And cut out the pattern from your paper. And this is the pattern for the basic shirt collar. To adjust the collar, mark out two sets of one inch marks from shoulder notch towards the center back. and square in the slash lines towards the row line. And slash the lines. Next, spread the slash lines by 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 centimeters. And redraw the color to smoothen the line. And redraw the row line. Et voila, so this is the basic shirt color. For the color with separate stand, we are going to draft first the color stand or band and use the color stand as a base to draft the separate color. This kind of color is usually seen on formal and casual button-up shirts and just like the previous color, it can also be worn open or closed. Same with the previous color, we need the back and front neckline measurements from our pattern blocks. To start off, get a piece of paper and fold it in half. Square in a line at the bottom part of your paper. From the folded line or center back, mark in the half of your back neckline measurement. And square a line for the shoulder notch. From the bottom line, mark up the height of the stand, which is 1 to 8 inches or 3 centimeters. And square a line. From the shoulder line or notch, mark in the half of the front neckline. From the front neck mark, mark up 6 eighths of an inch or 1.8 centimeters. From this mark, draw a semi curved line until the shoulder notch. Measure this line. Check if the measurement is the same with your half neckline measurement. And mark in the correct measurement if it's incorrect. From this mark, draw a perpendicular line. And this is the new center front. And continue marking up the height of the stand. And draw a curve line. Next, extend a line at the center front. And mark out 6 eighths of an inch or 1.8 centimeters for button extension. From the button extension, draw a curved line upwards. And now we have a color stand. From center front line, mark in 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeter. This mark is needed so that the color won't overlap, and we are also going to use this mark to draft the color. Next, cut out the stand from the paper.
and get the previous paper to draft the separate color. From the color stand outline, mark up 1 to 8 inches or 3 centimeters. Place the color stand at the mark upside down. And trace from center back until the mark near center front line and do not forget to mark the shoulder notch. From the mark at center front line, draw a 120 degree angle line like this one. And at the center back, mark up 2 inches or 5 centimeters for the color height. And square in a continuous line. And mark up 4 eighths of an inch or 1.2 centimeters. And from this mark, draw a semi curve line until center back. And cut out the separate color pattern from the paper. And now we have a separate color. And this is the shirt color with the color stand or band. So to adjust the collar, mark out 1 inch each side from the shoulder notch and square in the slash lines. Slash the lines and spread each line by 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm. And redraw the collar to smoothen the lines. Et voilà, so this is the basic shirt color with the stand or band. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to create the shirt colors. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below. And I'll make it sure to answer your questions as quickly as possible. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, La Modelis, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and share this video to your friends or your family. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!